What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are actually going to be heading to Copart. We actually got a new car to rebuild here on the channel. So let's hop in the truck and head that way. strap it down and honestly it doesn't look too bad does it it does not at all i mean it has a you know the rear suspension is a little bit damaged and it looks a little bit rough but right now it's just on a trailer we're going to go ahead and strap it up because it is really busy here at the co park there's tons of cars everywhere jake's gonna go ahead and strap up this wheel and then i'm gonna go ahead and take care of this wheel over here and both front suspensions look good don't they yeah front suspension looks good it's more of that rear suspension yeah that. and then a little bit in the front Got a little bit of damage but we'll inspect most of the stuff once we get back to the shop we kind of just want to get out of here because it is really hectic there's trucks pulling in and out everywhere so let's get this thing strapped up and then we'll hit the road We just made it back to my shop and now it's time to go ahead and get this car off the trailer and honestly it's gonna be pretty tough because this thing has a little bit of suspension damage back here which i think it won't be too hard as long as me and jake come up with a plan to get off because remember we did take the bmw off pretty easily yeah we kind of just made a little contraption for the control arm and i think we can do the same thing here because it just snapped right there and if we can make that same thing for this car we can probably just drive it off. And the crazy thing is the listing said this thing was a run and drive. It doesn't really look like a run and drive to me. I mean, it probably wouldn't even make it one foot, especially with that axle being out like that. But what we're gonna do right now is go ahead and back this trailer up into this first bay right here and we're gonna unload it into there. So let's go ahead and get this car off the trailer somehow. So Jason can go ahead and turn the truck around right here and then we're gonna back it up into the shop. And hopefully we'll get this thing off pretty easy because that suspension is pretty destroyed. But I honestly have a lot of experience with getting cars off trailers. I wish we did have a forklift, which I do have a potential lead on a forklift. I just have to work out a couple of deals and maybe we can get that thing here soon. But in the meantime, we're just going to have to work some magic and get this thing off the trailer. All right, guys, we got this thing inside. And now we're gonna go ahead and grab the jack. We do need to go ahead and see if we can get inside this car. I think the battery is probably dead. And it was pretty cool at the auction. We did meet up with a subscriber that actually watches the channel and he was asking me about the Mustang. But you guys know where that thing is. It's just, it's just chilling in storage. And he did give us this tape right here. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this hood and see if we can get these doors open because we do need to get the uh, locking nut off. So we can get that rear suspension off and see exactly how bad the damage is. So I'm gonna go grab my booster box and you can go ahead and untape that side too. And I'm gonna grab the jumper box and we're gonna get this thing potentially off the trailer right now. Let's go ahead and put this thing on and see if we can get these doors open. Cause on these new Corvettes, everything is on electric power. Kind of like a McLaren. Let's see. Yeah, it's dead, it's right. 20%. And on this jumper box, you have to do this right here to override the safety. There we go. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this door open. Pretty cool how they taped it all up. It was good they taped it up. Oh yeah. Dang, look at those seats, dude. That is freaking sick. Yeah, this is the 1LT, so it doesn't have the carbon on them, but. Hey, but I gotta say, the red on white is just absolutely freaking perfect combination. Let's see if this door will open. Yeah, nothing's really catching in there. See if you can find that locking nut anywhere in here. 
Dang, it's the first time I've ever seeing one of these in person. Dude, the interior looks freaking sick on this car. Oh, it looks like the box is not open though. Oh, hold on. Let me uh, re Let's check the battery. Because sometimes the jumper box will cut off if, if it's not, if it's sucking too much power. Yeah. What is the point of an electric glove box? Hey, all right, so now we have the uh sweet. Hey, turn that dash on. I want to see what it looks like. Dang. There we go. We How much got 8, miles? miles. 8 thousand miles on this thing. Dude, this thing's practically brand new. Not bad. Hey, it does have the Bose sound system. Is that that's probably upgraded? Isn't that? Yeah, that's probably upgraded. Ooh, what that's is that? Work here. What does this say? Oil filter change. Oh wow. Oh, uh, is this the window sticker? Might be. Oh, this is the build number. I guess the build sheet. Yeah. Dang. Looks like no wind window sticker. Dude, that's pretty cool in here though. Wait, is this a convertible? Oh, it is a. Yeah, is can, a so you can take the, you can take the top off right here. So you got the handles right here. Oh. Which is pretty Dude, that sick. is freaking sweet. Is pretty sick. You roll your windows down. Pop the top off, and you're off. just cruising. Oh, cruising. That interior is pretty awesome too. Yeah, it's pretty dash. sick. Dude, got a big old screen. Dude, that's actually pretty luxury. We've actually stepped up their game with this car. That thing's an absolute beauty. But enough talking about the car. We need to get this thing off the trailer. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and jack up this side right here and get it in the air and probably just take off this rim right here and see exactly what we can do with this control arm. Hopefully we can just bolt it back together and just roll this car clean off this trailer. taking off the wheel we did notice that the lower control arm is really the only thing that's broken so i went ahead and attached my little clamp right here and it's basically just a tube with two bolts welded to it and bam that rear control arm is secure and now we need to make a shock mount for this right here because the shock is broken so basically i have this tube right here we're going to drill a hole and basically bolt it back into the factory location right here so then once we lower the car it doesn't just slam all the way up so let's go ahead and grab that grinder right there cut this tube down size and get this car off this trailer So check it out, we got the entire suspension back on and that pole is holding in place of the shock. Now it's time to go ahead and just lay out the ramps and hopefully we can roll this thing clean off the trailer. Check it out, we got the Corvette off the trailer and surprisingly, we did actually just drive this sucker right off. Jake hopped in there and just backed it off safely. We did have a couple of issues with the uh, control arm and what I did was I just went ahead and just welded it up with the aluminum welder and that sucker's ready to go. We can probably do a couple launches later. We just need to air up some of the tires. But right now what we're gonna do is kind of dive deeper into this car. The first thing we need to do is actually clean this interior out because I think the passenger of this car was actually holding a cup of coffee or something because there's like coffee all over the dashboard. And then if you touch the window, it's really sticky. And I think it would be nice to just go ahead and clean everything out. And in the process of that, I think we're gonna go ahead and just remove these seat belts right here because those are the only things that are blown is two seat belts and one seat airbag which is pretty crazy because you would think in an accident where it's kind of like all over that the driver airbag would blow but it just that just means that the front end accident wasn't really bad at all 
because usually those airbags will pop pretty easy. But let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. We're gonna go ahead and get it all vacuumed out because there is a bunch of glass from this windshield right here. I'm guessing when this door got hit, it kind of just shattered that. So let's go ahead and get the booster on here and go ahead and detail this interior. And I think we might go ahead and start taking out these seat belts. Let me put the booster back on. All right, let's go ahead and see if this door will open. I think there's just a button right here. Oh, you gotta hold the power? Yeah, and then on the side, there's a button. And you gotta hold the power button and the side button. How do you open this door, though? It's like a button. Not working. Button oh, I don't think the power... No, the power's on. Wait, isn't there a safety... Re How do you do... Oh. Yeah. There we go. Hey, that's a good thing they have it in here. And check that out. There's broken glass and dirt and debris everywhere in the car. And I think it would be nice to just go ahead and clean all this off. I checked that out right there. And once you're working in a car that has broken glass, you definitely want to make sure everything is clean because those things will get into your skin. And I'm pretty sure this is a T-top convertible. So we'll probably go ahead and pop this sucker off right here just to give us better access into the car. And let's just go ahead and detail the crap out of this thing. check that out we got the entire interior all nice and cleaned up and it was really dirty there was mud and i'm guessing there was a little bit of coffee on the windshield so the passenger was probably drinking a cup of starbucks and they decided to do a little bit of, of off-roading but anyways now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take out the seat because this one does have a blown airbag so we're going to have to get that replaced and we also need to go ahead and remove the seat belts get those shipped out to safety restore they do all my seat belts and I'm thinking we're gonna keep them stock, yeah? We'll probably keep yeah, them stock. We, I think if we do red, it'd probably be a little too Yeah, much. probably be a little bit too much because you can see the the red seats are just so bright and I, I like it. I like the way these seats are made. And the cool thing about the Corvette is they have the airbag on the side. So you don't have to actually sew up the seat or anything like that. You pretty much just unbolt it, which is really smart. If you think about it, it saves you a lot of time. But I gotta say this interior, the cool thing about this car is the interior is literally mint condition. Like there's no issues. The auction taped it up right away. So nothing really got in here. And man, does it look beautiful. And I'm, I'm kind of loving the way this interior is set up in here. But let's go ahead and get the seat out right here and go ahead and remove this seat belt on this side and that side. And check that out, me and Jay got both seats out. And I gotta say, I'm actually loving the way this car is put together. Everything is so simple to take apart. Like for instance, this airbag module right here, you simply just take apart these uh, two panels right here and just slip it out. On most cars, you literally have to take apart half the dashboard just to get in there. And same thing with the seat belt, literally just one bolt in the back, nice and ready to go. So now that we got everything off, these seat belts will go to safety restore. They're gonna restore them back to OEM condition. Same thing with the module. And then once they come back, we'll easily be able to put them back together. But now what we're gonna do is we need to do a little bit of cleanup over here. And then we're gonna actually set this thing up on some jack stands because we need to dive into the front end. We're probably just gonna take off the bumper just for now, just to see how everything looks underneath. Let's go ahead and do some organizing and get this car jacked up in the air so we can take this front bumper off.
So check it out, we got the entire front end all taken apart and I gotta say is it is looking really good. The only main damage on the front of this car is basically just this side. It has some radiator damage and condenser damage. I guess it kind of just pushed everything back. As you can see, it does have like a nice aluminum cage that does bolt on so you don't have to weld or cut anything on this car. And I gotta say, I really do love working on this Corvette. It's really different than like working on any other car. Everything is pretty simple, pretty well thought of. You know, you're not really dealing with any nonsense. I mean, to take apart this entire front end was really easy. Just a couple bolts here and there and nothing too crazy and i like the fact that they do use a little bit of torques but not too much i know some car companies like to do a lot of torques and a lot of different types of bolts and stuff like that but chevy is pretty cool and this is probably the first time i ever working on a chevy and i've never actually worked on a chevy before i always kind of thought they were kind of junk but i gotta say this corvette is a different breed i mean i'm pretty sure they just went in and redesigned everything and the front end looks really good the suspension in the front is all perfect there's no damage on the, uh, the passenger side and same thing with the driver's side everything is looking good we went ahead and stripped everything down and the reason why this fender wasn't fitting too well is just because this bracket right here kind of just got pushed up as you can see the driver's side over here is just mint there's nothing wrong absolutely with it and i'm glad to see that same thing with the hood it was uh, striking the fender but now once you close it down everything is perfect and there's no damage anywhere on this hood which is good because these hoods are pretty pricey. So me and Jay got the entire Corvette all blown apart. And now we know exactly what parts we need to order for this car. And it should be pretty easy. These parts are not too expensive at the dealership. So we're probably gonna order all the parts and get this thing back together as fast as possible. I'm just super happy that there's not that much damage up here in the front. And it should be a pretty simple, easy build as long as we just focus on it and get this thing knocked out. But anyways, if y'all enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also follow us on Instagram at the tuned. Thanks for watching.